Hi folks, Michael Boynton here, Town Administrator in Medway. Uh, we are now fully engaged in the winter season, so winter is here yet again. And obviously it brings a whole host of challenges along with it, uh, from temperature changes to snow and ice control, and obviously just uh, several issues from dealing with the roadways to building maintenance, etc. Uh, this is where we ask for your assistance as we move forward into the winter season. Uh, not the least of which is to work with us uh, when we begin uh, any type of sanding or plowing operation to give our crews the proper space necessary so that they can do their job and get our roads and sidewalks clear. Um, we ask that folks uh, do their best to, after snow events, to make sure storm drains are clear, to make sure hydrants are clear, uh, and to most importantly just check on a neighbor that may need some assistance. Uh, again, they're there and, and uh, anything you can do and that certainly we can do to be of assistance is always greatly appreciated. Um, we ask for probably one of the biggest things uh, that most communities ask for is your patience uh, as we move through each and every storm event. Uh, they are different. There is no one storm that's identical. Uh, each one of them has a little different set of challenges, whether it's the consistency of the snow, the wetness, uh, dry, fluffy snow, windy, blowing, drifting snow. Uh, every one of them can have a different um, operational challenge for us, and we would ask that folks please be as patient as you can and give us the time necessary to do our jobs. The uh, uh, relationship with the Medway Public Schools as we deal with snow and ice is fantastic. Uh, Superintendent Pyrus and his team are certainly checking in with uh, the DPS uh, snow removal folks on a regular basis to see where we are with the duration of the storm, to see where we are with the cleanup, and can we get the sidewalks clear as quickly as possible. But most importantly, uh, and the kids may not want to hear this, but our mission is to get those schools open as fast as we can. So uh, there are a number of things that go into each one of these. Uh, depending on the severity of the storm, we will also have public safety upgrades, public safety staffing up upgrades. Uh, we'll staff Station 2 if need be, because one of the key elements is to make sure that we can get folks out the door as quickly as possible on emergency response runs without necessarily bringing people in from home and fighting those elements just to get to the stations. So uh, when we get to a major storm, and I think Dave has talked a little bit about that, when we get to a major storm, uh, and major being it is likely greater than 20 inches of snow or we're anticipating as we dealt with in March probably not as much snow but a lot of high winds, heavy wet snow and likelihood the downed power lines and tree limbs uh, tree limbs that cause the downed power lines then we'll move into what's called the emergency operations center which is at the police station and we will stay there throughout the duration of the storm to make sure that our uh, contacts with the utilities are kept up to date to make sure that we can get resources into the community as necessary and we'll move forward with getting the town put back together as quickly as possible. Believe it or not, the best type of storm that we can have is one that just dumps a lot of snow that we can quickly get in, clean up, push back and move on to operational uh, normalcy with. Um, but typically the ones as you remember uh, in March were really difficult for us because of the nature of that storm. Uh, each of those storms, and we had three of them in 10 days, they brought a lot of challenges to us, mostly through the, the form of power outages. I will again ask folks to please, if you don't have a Facebook account, get a Facebook account, if nothing else, uh, to simply be on top of what we're bringing forward. Sandy Johnson is our communications director. She's going to do a fantastic job, as always, in getting the word out about where we are with the town and what's happening with the storm, what's happening with cleanup. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for you to provide some feedback to us as well. So if there are things that are happening beyond our, uh, our uh, building walls that we may not be aware of, it's always important that folks reach out to us. So this is a team effort, and we've got the best team in the state doing this. We've got some highly skilled people. Jack Tucker is our highway superintendent. Steve Carew is our park superintendent. And Barry Smith is our water superintendent. And collectively with Dave D'Amico and his administrative staff, they work with all of the fantastic crews that we have in putting together a very comprehensive snow and ice plan and uh, also partner, partnering with them and with us, uh, Chief Alan Tingley and Medway PD, and also Chief Jeff Lynch in the fire department. So uh, there's some noises in the background right now, but you know what, that happens from time to time in a busy spot. So um, folks uh, from uh, the town of Medway, and as we head into the holidays, very happy holiday season, and uh, go Mustangs. Thank you. Thank you.